Ta-ta! Hello, friends! How are you doing? I'm doing great, and I'm back with another art lesson. Today, we're gonna learn how to draw 3D letters and numbers using perspective. Yeah. Perspective is something we know really well by now, because we already had two perspective lessons. And if you haven't seen those before, why don't you go ahead and check those videos out, because they're really cool. I'm gonna draw the first number, which is 1, and the first letter of the alphabet, which is A, today. But they're not gonna look flat. We're gonna give them depth and volume. First thing I do is to draw a vanishing point in the middle of my paper. My vanishing point is green. Then I grab my really red marker to start drawing the number 1. Go ahead and draw the number 1 to the left of your vanishing point. Now I'm gonna draw another number 1 slightly bigger around my smaller one. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna draw a small box that's connecting the bottom tips of these two number 1s. You may ask, why? Why Jeff? Why are we doing this? Well, the answer is simple. So that our number doesn't fall to the ground. <laughs> what else can it be? And now I'm connecting the two top tips of my number 1s and close the shape. And I'm done with the front face of my number 1. It's time to draw our letter A. For that, I want to use a different color. I think I'm going to pick the best blue. Now I'm going to be drawing to the right of my vanishing point. First, I'm drawing a blue triangle, except the bottom edge. And just about the same size with my number 1. I'm trying to keep the distance from my vanishing point pretty much the same with the distance between my vanishing point and my number 1. So my number and my letter will be equally distant from the vanishing point. The second step is drawing a smaller triangle inside of my first triangle but closer to the top. I'm gonna draw this triangle with all three edges. And then two more lines that are parallel to my first triangle. And finally, I'm gonna close this shape by drawing three more horizontal lines. It may be a little confusing at first, but if you make a mistake, just go back to that part and try it again. And there it is, we have the front face of our letter A. Alright, we're doing pretty good so far. The next step is drawing our perspective lines. We're gonna draw a bunch of lines between all of the corners and our vanishing point. So there's gonna be a bunch of lines starting from the vanishing point and ending at each corner of our letter and our number. I'm gonna use my Yabba Dabba Yellow for my perspective lines because these are just guidelines. They're just gonna guide us while we're drawing the depth of our letter and our number. After you have these guidelines, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to draw the perspective kids. So just watch the rest of the video and try to do exactly as I'm doing. And you know what? Once you learn that technique, you can apply it to all numbers and letters. You can even write your name and make it in perspective. Whoa, wouldn't that be fun? I think you should do that. You should try to write your name and try to make it look like 3D in perspective. Just put a vanishing point somewhere on your page and experiment with perspective and 3D. Don't forget to subscribe so you always be the first to know as soon as I make new videos. I hope you like this one and see you in the next.